Howdy folks, today let's talk about the Anomaly, an IEM I've been creating for the last year. This is black ABS type resin. We have a little bit of print marks on it which will be shellacked and smoothed over so you won't be able to see those. We have an angled bore tube right here. What I have determined to be about the right angle. We have a little tiny pinhole vent in a strategic place. This is a little silicone o-ring that I use so that if you put on tips you can do this kind of thing, right? So the O-ring will stop the tip. You can also go right over the O-ring and you can cover the vent. Then if we flip it around, we have a third chamber. That's a rear volume of air behind the driver. And we have a little hole here. And the idea with this basically is I left this open for people to experiment with. You can either tape over it. You can use a high value damper. I would say if you're changing altitude, you should not tape over it, but uh, you can if you're just in one place. And you could use a high value damper or a low value damper to change the entire low, mid, uh, and base shelf. And I'll show you those graphs in a minute. So basically, we have arguably four tunings that you can get to very easily on this. These are acoustic tunings. So you're not, you know, we're not playing with dip switches and stuff like that. And a non-recessed two pin up here, and then let me show you some graphs. Okay, so the purple graph, which is the largest base graph, is just basically take the tip and slide it all the way back until you bottom it out. I actually recommend that you um, don't quite bottom it and then put it in your ear and push hard and it'll bottom out the tip. That's, that's the blue graph. You may get pressure buildup if you really seal that thing on there because you're plugging the front vent entirely. But you can feather that and you can get different um, base shelves. So I feathered it a little bit. Um, by the way, stock tuning is going to be green on this. So that's the flattest, cleanest replay right around uh, well, the green graph over here. Then I feathered it, um, pushed the tip backwards a little bit. We get the orange graph. And it does influence a little bit of the high mids. Although honestly, it's a little bit hard to hear until you really get to the max base graph which is going to be the purple one that's sliding the tip all the way backwards. Um, the other uh, version, so we call it, is you don't cover the, the vent, just have the tip. And by the way, there's a little locking thing on here, so you can pull the O-ring off and put tips that lock on there if that's your deal. I'm using Soft Ears Crystal Tips. I like those a lot on this. Uh, anyway, but then you can um, pull off the damper here, and you can basically put your own damper you can cover it or not and if you don't cover it you get the brown graph here which has quite a lot more uh, mid base and then it actually adds in a little bit of extra uh, ear gain and a little bit of extra high mids and and early treble to offset that which is really cool so basically that would be like probably for metal heads is probably to unplug this uh, little vent here and if you're more of an audiophile, clean replay kind of person, EDM such, you can use the lower graph, the green, or maybe the orange. And if you're crazy and want a ton of bass, which is about 14 decibels, you can go for the purple graph. And um, essentially, this should cover most genres of things people would want to play. This is the original Dark Magician driver. It has insane, absolutely insane layering and staging. And you can play with the acoustics based on these... Uh, very simple things that I included with this. Um, I'm probably not going to include extra dampers in the box. Uh, people can go to AliExpress, buy whatever they want. Just make sure you put whatever it is on both sides equally and you're you know good to go, whatever it is. Um, they should be very well matched out of the box. And that's what I've been working on. Um, I'll just say this. I mean, I, I think that in the, the lower, the, the green graph, you could play any genre of music other than possibly maybe like metal and get a very, very nice replay. I'm venting an absolute ton of bass, so it's, it's tuned in, although it doesn't smash you with subs. So even the low graph there is going to sound quite bassy and quite full and nice. And the big bass graph is going to be like, holy moly, yeah, you blast your eardrums out and all that stuff. So... That's my little spiel on the anomalies. I will be making, um, act well, this is probably the first pair that's for reals. Just need to finish it off. And uh, yeah, talk to you on the next one.